The reason I'm doing this live is just to break that down for people who didn't even understand what was going on. I was going to leave it alone, but then she says sorry, which the sorry wasn't even genuine. That fake. I don't know even convinced her to do this. But whoever did, that was smart because that was, yo, now if I sue niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker, right? Now if I sue y'all niggas for defamation of character, I'm a sucker. Well, I might be a sucker. I just might be. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. Pause. I'm thinking about being a sucker. For defamation of character. Now, I wake up, and my man shows me uh, Queen's Flip talking about nobody going to help Melissa Ford, none of you podcasters. Help over do what? He was working with Joe Buttons, which is cool. I, and shout out to Joe Buttons for hiring all these washed up niggas. All these old motherfuckers who ain't got nothing else to do. Shout out to you, my nigga. Because these niggas is washed, nigga. You, you open a dry cleaning business, nigga. You, you killing them with that. Niggas is goofy. I think every yeah. last one of you niggas is goofy. I ain't going to lie. It's tough to stay on this. <laughs> what, what, what makes you take the high road a lot of times? I, I feel sometimes... You, you look out for us by doing it. You don't involve us in things. And you give us the opportunity to walk off. I don't think niggas understand that. Yo, I take the high road because I'm not engaging with none of you niggas out there. Let me make myself perfectly clear. I don't do back and forth with none of you niggas out there. I don't do responding. I come in here and like to dictate. I dictate. I say what I need to say. You feel however you need to feel about it. And we just go on our separate ways. I'm not trying to have a discourse. When I come in here, it's not because I'm trying to relationship build with none of you niggas out there. Uh uh. So, it's not much to be said. You said enough. Thank you. I stand with Mel on all fronts, whatever it is. As a as a coworker, as a friend, I feel like it's our jobs up here to check it, which we did with love. Mm -hmm. I don't give a about none of these other goofy niggas out here and what they got to say. That performative and it's shenanigans. I'm not with none of the performative. You think you got a lawsuit, call your lawyer. You got enough lawyers, I think they'll advise you against it. And I don't think niggas paper is long enough for frivolous lawsuits that they don't have a chance on winning. Call your lawyer, look up what defamation means. I'm not doing shit, you niggas out here. You niggas is trying to play algorithm games and I'm not with none of it. And that's still Mel Ford at the end of the day. You niggas be on Instagram liking the bad escorts, going crazy, the cheap ones, 50 and 500 pounds. You niggas in the comments writing shit. Stop playing with niggas up here. Honestly, I observe. I'm trying to be cool because niggas got relationships. But enough now. Nobody enough. up here plays clout chaser no. games, yo. We don't do that over here. It's been number one the whole time it's been a, a thought. That ain't, that ain't my bag. I go viral just on the strength of my name and who I be, nigga. I ain't chasing on these algorithms. Y'all niggas stop playing. I'm tired of all the performance. I stand with Mel. And that's where I'm at with it. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Joe Button and Cameron. And if you, like me, grew up listening to Dipset, checking out all the tapes, the albums, the diplomatic communities, and everything like that there, watching the interviews, the DVDs, paying attention to the beefs, watching Killer Season a thousand times at the crib, you know when you heard that Joe Button podcast released this morning and it hit all the blogs all up and down the timeline. Cameron was most definitely gonna keep it going and keep talking noise as he did. He went to Instagram, posted up a clip of Joe Button from the podcast from the neighborhood talk blog, and then said how much. Then he posted up a picture in Joe Button and looked like an old school grandpa Olympic fit and then put the uh, Mary J. Blige and Sam Smith song and played the part with Mary J. Blige just talking about emotional. Then he went into the caption and said, looking bad and sad. This wasn't a wise decision. Move on y'all best bet. And I had a link in the description for the Joe Button podcast where you can listen to that in full today, episode 682, and also the other ones that led up to this. Got kicked off when Melissa Ford came on, 
brought up a conversation that Cameron and Mace had about hitting up a whole house, getting some, doing a little one-two thing on her, and she jumped the gun as in a reference of, hey, that girl could have possibly been underage. And everybody on the podcast, including Joe Button, told her, hey, man, you out of pocket. That ain't how they go. Nah, you doing way too much. That ain't how we doing that at all, man. You tripping. For some reason, that part wasn't clipped out. I don't know exactly what made Joe put it out still. Oh, maybe he was on some time like, I don't want to silence her point or anything like that. But Cameron took it very offensive. They talked about it on the is what it is show a little bit. They just threw some jabs at, at, at Melissa Ford and stuff like, nah, you tripping. They threw some little light stuff. They came back. Melissa Ford apologized, said that she was wrong and everything like that. But Cam like, nah, it wasn't genuine. Nah, you took it all the way there. I can hit y'all with a defamation suit, which I don't think Cameron was really serious about the defamation lawsuit. I think he was just popping his enough stuff on the live. Got at Queens Flip, who he been working with Queens Flip at the start of his career and stuff like that. Threw some jabs at him, said Joe Button hiring all washed up people over there and things of that nature. So Joe came back, and I guess Joe was on some time with like, hey, bro, she came and said what she said. She apologized, but she's still part of the home team. So you going at her, so we just going to go at you nine. He going to pop his stuff. He going to pop his. And I'm going to tell you like this, overall, they going to do what they do. We just going to be sitting back watching for the entertainment and stuff like that. I didn't agree with what Mel or uh, Melissa Ford had to say. I think she got a dope spot on the podcast. Even if she got bad taste, she know how to fill in and, and put something down on that is good. But that was a very, very bad take. As a man, if somebody played with me like that and acted like I was could possibly be dealing with an underage girl, I'd be highly upset myself because that ain't a jacket that now a nigga won't throw on them at all. Even though she apologized, I can't tell Cam how to remove, how to move and react after that. But he was all the way turned up and went all the way in on it. If you heard it all on the live, it's all on Twitter, YouTube, and everything of that nature. We'll see what happens here. Camera might wake up and I don't know. That nigga probably gonna keep it going. If you know Cam, he gonna most definitely probably keep this going. He say he ain't gonna talk about it on the is what it is show. He gonna be doing it off of that and everything like that there. But here we go. Niggas gonna pop they stuff, stay in their ground. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. All at 1000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.